Perth is the only observatory in the Southern Hemisphere between Sydney and South Africa. It's too big a gap in longitude, too many hours of time zone to cover without a telescope in Perth. Because of Western Australia's unique geographical location, the Perth Observatory has been involved in some of the greatest astronomical discoveries of all time. In the 70s we were able to be part of the International Planetary Patrol Program where we were looking at Venus, Mars, Jupiter and Saturn. That led on to co-discovering the rings of Uranus. A lot of work with Comet Halley. Uh, the astrographic telescope took about 10% of all the uh, glass plates that uh, the European Space Agency used to actually get their spacecraft Giotto to Comet Halley. Perth's very own Dr Andrew Williams not only built Perth's first digital camera but also discovered one of the smallest Earth-like planets. We caught some data points that proved the existence of a planet. So we ran that program from 96 through to 2012 and we found about a dozen planets uh, between us in the group. This one was the most exciting. We're working in collaboration with a whole bunch of people around the world. So when Perth Observatory was looking at this object, it was nighttime in Perth. And then as it became daytime in Perth, they took over in Chile. When it became daytime in Chile, they took over in South Africa and so on around the world, 24 hours a day. The observatory runs school tours and night tours where you can see not only the stars, but a range of telescopes and other rare and interesting parts of Perth's astronomical history. We have uh, meteorites, we have plans for the Fremantle Time Ball. We've even got the Astus Celestis, which is, there's only about 10 of them left in the world. Uh, and there was the very first star atlas that was created by uh, John Flamsteed. Perth Observatory is located in Bickley Valley, which is the perfect location for it to avoid much of Perth's light pollution. The isolation of this area enhances the experience and allows the sky to come alive. <laughs>